the Rocky Mountains, with their towering peaks, dense forests, and hidden valleys, are not just a haven for adventurers and nature lovers, they're also home to countless tales of the supernatural. From abandoned mining towns to eerie hotels, the Rockies are steeped in ghostly lore. Here, we delve into the most haunted places in this majestic mountain range and the spine-chilling stories that keep them shrouded in mystery. The Stanley Hotel, Estes Park, Colorado Few places in the Rockies are as iconic or as haunted as the Stanley Hotel. Built in 1909 by F.O. Stanley, this grand establishment inspired Stephen King's novel The Shining. Guests and staff have reported countless paranormal encounters, including the ghost of a maid named Elizabeth Wilson, who reportedly tucks visitors into bed and tidies their rooms. The grand piano in the lobby is said to play on its own, as though guided by unseen hands. The fourth floor is particularly active, with guests hearing laughter and footsteps of ghostly children. Room 217, where King himself stayed, is a hotspot for eerie occurrences, from flickering lights to unexplained apparitions. Where to stay? The Stanley Hotel, of course. Choose room 217 for the bravest experience. What to do? Take the hotel's night spirit tour to learn about its haunted history. Visit the hotel's concert hall, where ghostly apparitions have been spotted. Pro tip, visit in the off-season for a quieter, eerier experience. Bannock Ghost Town, Bannock, Montana once a bustling mining town during Montana's gold rush, Bannock is now a ghost town in every sense of the word. The desolate buildings and eerie silence conceal a dark past. Many visitors report hearing disembodied voices and footsteps in the old saloon and the hotel. The story of Dorothy Dunn resonates with eerie sadness. Her drowning in Grasshopper Creek has left a mark on Bannock, where visitors often see her ghost in a blue dress wandering aimlessly through the town. What makes this story particularly spooky is the creek itself, many claim to hear faint cries for help when near its banks, as though Dorothy's final moments are replayed endlessly. Stop 2. Bannock Ghost Town, Bannock, Montana Where to stay, nearby motels in Dillon, Montana. What to do? Stroll through the old saloon and schoolhouse to hear phantom footsteps. Visit Grasshopper Creek for a chance encounter with Dorothy Dunn's ghost. Pro tip, attend the annual Bannock Days event in July for historical reenactments that might make the ghost stir. Hotel Colorado, Glenwood Springs, Colorado dubbed the Grand Dame of the Rockies, the Hotel Colorado has hosted presidents, celebrities, and countless wandering spirits since its opening in 1893. During its time as a World War II naval hospital, many soldiers died within its walls, leaving behind a heavy, sorrowful energy. Guests have reported phantom nurses roaming the halls, shadowy figures in their rooms, and the faint sound of crying babies. The ghost of a young girl in Victorian clothing is also seen near the courtyard fountain, seemingly searching for her family. Stop 3, Hotel Colorado, Glenwood Springs, Colorado Where to stay, book a room at the Hotel Colorado. What to do? Ask the front desk about ghost stories linked to your room. Wander the courtyard fountain where the spirit of a little girl is often seen. Pro tip, visit the nearby Glenwood Hot Springs pool to unwind if the ghostly tales don't keep you up all night. Last week we told you about the history of Glenwood Springs and one of its most famous features, Hotel Colorado. There have been hundreds of reports of paranormal activities or experiences. Our Timber Schumann talked with the hotel's manager to find out the stories that float through the halls the most. I believe that if you want to see something, you're going to see something. Hotel Colorado has been serving Glenwood Springs since the late 1800s. Its lavish halls and rich history aren't the only things making this hotel nationally famous. For decades, guests have reported paranormal experiences ranging from sights to sounds and sensations. Could some of these experiences stem from the World War II era when the hotel served as a naval hospital? Housekeeping area now used to be the morgue back when they were here. 
So that's where we get a lot of kind of weird stories. Assistant General Manager Kaylin Radden tells me workers still report sightings and feelings to this day. One room downstairs draws a lot of attention because of the gated door guarding it. Caitlin says it has nothing to do with paranormal activity. It's just one of the storage areas downstairs that we haven't quite renovated yet. You know, it's been kind of a slow process down there. Let's explore some of the main stories roaming these historic halls. Up on the fourth floor, there's a girl in Victorian school dress and she's bouncing a red ball because supposedly she went off the fourth floor balcony and fell to her death. There has been um, young children playing with this young girl that runs around. General Manager Larry McDonald tells me the little girl is often seen in the summer months playing in the courtyard at night <laughs> along within the halls. So people will talk about hearing like a ball bouncing outside their door. The other one is that there was a love triangle that was going on here and there was a woman who ended up killing her husband for cheating on her. So now supposedly when men are sleeping, they will see like a woman like floating above their bed to be like that woman who's coming back for revenge on her husband. And one of the most striking reported encounters comes from the early 2000s, the wallpaper room. It was during a time frame when uh, the hotel was being renovated. And that's supposedly where when they were redoing the room back in the day, they hung up new wallpaper on there. And every morning that they would come back in, the wallpaper was just gone. Finally, one of the one of the workers put a collection of wallpaper on the bed and when they came in the next day there was one series of wallpaper that's the wallpaper they put up and the wallpaper stayed after that um, the other one is like cigar smoke people smell that all over the hotel supposedly but what about nowadays are there still first-hand accounts i've had the tumblers on my safe in my office turned by themselves um, i've had my my telephone ring and nobody there um, but I've never had a negative interaction or somebody brush up against me. I've never really felt anything. I've never really felt followed or anything like that, and I've spent many nights here. It's, uh, it's a magical hotel, it's a magical place, and there's a, a lot of other things to experience when you're here. The mining tunnels of Central City, Colorado Central City, once known as the richest square mile on Earth, is notorious for its haunted mining tunnels. Deep in the mining tunnels of Central City, whispers of the past come alive. Ghostly figures of miners are often seen walking the tunnels, lanterns in hand, searching for lost veins of gold, or perhaps for peace. The most chilling reports involve voices calling out names or warnings, only for visitors to find themselves utterly alone in the oppressive darkness. Visitors have reported hearing ghostly whispers, feeling sudden drops in temperature, and even seeing apparitions of miners with lanterns in hand. The spooky atmosphere of these tunnels has made them a popular destination for paranormal investigators. Stop for Central City Mining Tunnels, Central City, Colorado Where to Stay, the historic Teller House Hotel. What to do? Embark on a haunted mining tour to explore the tunnels. Visit the Opera House, rumored to be haunted by a performer from the 1800s. Pro tip, stop by the Central City Cemetery for an extra dose of ghostly encounters. St. Elmo Ghost Town, Chafee County, Colorado St. Elmo is one of Colorado's best preserved ghost towns, but it's not just abandoned buildings that remain, it's also said to be haunted by the spirit of Annabelle Stark. Known as the Hermit of St. Elmo. The Hermit of St. Elmo remains fiercely loyal to her home even in death. Her apparition is often seen in the windows of the Stark family home, glaring at visitors as if warning them to leave. What makes her haunting so unnerving is the overwhelming sense of being watched and judged, as though Annabelle's ghost still guards her domain with an iron will. Strange lights, unexplained noises, and an overwhelming sense of being watched are common experiences for those who explore St. Elmo. Stop 5, St. Elmo Ghost Town, Chafee County, Colorado Where to stay, stay in Salida, a nearby town with modern amenities. What to do, walk through the Stark family home, where Annabelle's ghost is most active. Hike the Iron Chest Trail, rumored to be watched over by unseen eyes. Pro tip, visit in the fall when the golden aspen leaves add a magical touch to the scenery. Gold Camp Road, Colorado Springs Colorado Gold Camp Road meanders through the mountains outside Colorado Springs, but it's more than a scenic drive, it's also a hotspot for paranormal activity. This old railway route is lined with eerie tunnels, some of which have collapsed, adding to the site's dark lore. Legend has it that one of these tunnels is haunted by the spirits of children who died in a tragic accident. 
Drivers often report hearing ghostly laughter and tapping on their car windows as they pass through. Some even claim to see handprints on their vehicles after leaving the area. Stop 6, Gold Camp Road, Colorado Springs, Colorado Where to stay, lodging in Colorado Springs is abundant. What to do? Drive through the haunted tunnels and listen for ghostly laughter. Stop at the collapsed tunnel for a chilling walk through the site. Pro tip, drive the route at dusk for the ultimate eerie experience, but beware of ghostly handprints on your car. Fort Washakie, Wind River Range, Wyoming lo Located near the Wind River Range, Fort Washakie is steeped in Native American history and ghostly folklore. Visitors and locals alike tell of ghostly warriors riding through the fort at night, their spectral forms illuminated by the moonlight. The spirit of Chief Washakie, the Shoshone leader for whom the fort is named, is said to still watch over his people. His apparition is often seen near the burial grounds, standing tall and proud. Stop 7, Fort Washakie, Wind River Range, Wyoming where, where to stay, stay in Lander, Wyoming, for easy access to the fort. What to do? Visit the burial grounds and pay respects to Chief Washakie. Take a guided tour to hear stories of spectral warriors. Pro tip, respect the sacred nature of the site and tread lightly. The Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming Although technically in Yellowstone, which overlaps the Rockies, the Old Faithful Inn deserves mention for its haunting history. Built in 1904, this rustic lodge is said to be haunted by a bride who died tragically. After marrying in secret against her family's wishes, she and her husband came to the lodge. However, their happiness was short-lived, they quarreled over money, and the groom stormed out. Left alone, the bride reportedly took her own life in despair. Guests claim to see her spectral form pacing the upper floors, dressed in her wedding gown, her face obscured by a veil of sorrow. Guests have also reported lights flickering, objects moving on their own, and a spectral figure peering over the railings of the Grand Lobby. Stop 8, Old Faithful Inn, Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming where to stay, the Old Faithful Inn itself. What to do? Explore the upper floors where the ghostly bride is often spotted. Sit by the stone fireplace and listen for whispers from the past. Pro tip, book your stay months in advance, this haunted destination is also extremely popular. The Idaho Springs Cemetery, Idaho Springs, Colorado This historic cemetery is the final resting place for many miners and their families, but it seems some souls have not found peace. Visitors to the cemetery often describe an unnerving feeling of being followed and the sound of shuffling footsteps. One of the most chilling legends involves a woman in black who mourns at a specific grave. When approached, she disappears, leaving behind only the scent of lavender. Stop 9, Idaho Springs Cemetery, Idaho Springs, Colorado, where to stay, quaint inns in Idaho Springs. What to do? Visit the woman in black's grave and watch for her elusive presence. Join a local ghost walk to hear tales of haunted miners. Pro tip, arrive at dusk for an extra eerie vibe, but bring a flashlight. Glacier National Park, Montana The rugged beauty of Glacier National Park masks a darker, more ghostly side. From spectral figures spotted on hiking trails to disembodied voices echoing through the mountains, the park is filled with unexplained phenomena. One particularly eerie story involves Lake McDonald Lodge, where guests have reported seeing a ghostly figure in old-fashioned clothing pacing the halls. Other tales include campers hearing ghostly cries in the wilderness at night. Stop 10, Glacier National Park, Montana where to stay, lodges or campgrounds within the park. What to do? Visit Lake McDonald Lodge and explore the haunted halls. Camp near many glacier and listen for ghostly cries in the wilderness. Pro tip, hike with friends, ghostly encounters are best shared. The history of the Rocky Mountains is filled with tragedy, adventure, and mystery. The combination of harsh environments, mining accidents, and the deep spiritual connection of Native American tribes to the land has created fertile ground for ghost stories. For those brave enough to explore, the Rockies are more than just a place of natural beauty, they're a realm where the past lingers, and the spirits of those who once called these mountains home may still walk among us. Do you dare visit these haunted places, or will you leave their mysteries undisturbed?
the choice is yours, but beware, the Rockies have a way of leaving an indelible mark on all who venture into their shadowy depths. Tips for your haunted Rocky Mountain adventures Stay safe, always inform someone of your whereabouts, especially in remote areas. Bring gear, a flashlight, comfortable shoes, and a recording device for potential EVP. Respect the spirits, avoid trespassing, and always treat these sites with reverence. Be skeptical, but open-minded, whether you're a believer or a skeptic, let the experience speak for itself. Extra haunted spots These extra destinations may be closer to your current location, but offer a plethora of haunting thrills of their own. Be sure to follow the tips at the end. The Winchester House, San Jose, California Though far from the Rockies, this sprawling and mysterious mansion, built by Sarah Winchester, is said to be haunted by the spirits of those killed by Winchester rifles. With staircases leading to nowhere and doors that open into walls, visitors often report ghostly encounters and disorienting experiences. The Crescent Hotel, Eureka Springs, Arkansas, or known as the most haunted hotel in America, the Crescent is infamous for its spectral residence. Originally a hospital, the site is said to be haunted by former patients and a nurse who roams the halls. Guests report shadowy figures and unexplained noises, making it a must-visit for ghost enthusiasts. The Queen Mary, Long Beach, California, this retired luxury ocean liner, now a floating hotel, is one of the most haunted places in the United States. From ghostly children playing in the pool area to an engine room where a sailor tragically died, the Queen Mary offers a hauntingly unique experience for the brave. Waverly Hills Sanatorium, Louisville, Kentucky Once a tuberculosis hospital, Waverly Hills is now famous for its ghostly activity. The death tunnel, used to transport deceased patients, is a hotspot for sightings, while the spirits of nurses and patients linger throughout the building. Ghost hunting tips for these sites Research the history, knowing the backstory of each location can help you identify spirits linked to specific legends. Pack essential gear, a voice recorder for EVP sessions, a camera for ghostly apparitions, and comfortable shoes for exploring. Visit at the right time, night tours often heighten the spooky factor, but early mornings can be equally eerie. Respect boundaries, many haunted spots are private property, always get permission before entering. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share to keep fascinating content coming here at Nightmare Nexus.